In this video, we will dive deep into the 14 principles of Toyota Way. Toyota has one of the most efficient and effective production systems in the world. The 14 management principles are the foundation of the Toyota production system. It is also known as the 14 principles of the Toyota Way. Each organization follows the concept of continuous improvement for their growth. Continuous improvement means creating an atmosphere of continuous learning and implementing the new strategy at the organization. Continuous improvement helps for better effectiveness and efficiency. Respect for people means engaging employees by active participation in improving their everyday job. Before discussing about the 14 principles of Toyota Way, let's know in very short about the four main pillars of Toyota production system, which are also known as the 4P model of the Toyota production system. 4P models of Toyota production system are philosophy, process, people, problem solving. Number one, philosophy includes long-term system thinking. Number two, process contains continuous flow, pull system, leveling or balancing, standardized process, design build and quality, visual control, and technology support. Number three, people includes grow leaders, develop people and teams, partner with value chain. Number four, problem solving contains observing deeply and learning iteratively, PDCA, aligning goals, and bold strategy large leaps and small steps. So... Let's discuss about the 14 principles of the Toyota production system. The 14 principles of the Toyota production system includes long-term system thinking, create a continuous flow, just in time, use pull systems to avoid overproduction, level out the workload, hijunka, eliminate waiting, standardize the processes, design build and quality, use visual controls, technology to support people and processes, grow leaders, develop people and teams, partners and suppliers with value chain, observe deeply, go and see, genchi genbutsu, align goals, bold strategy, large leaps, and small steps. Principle 1. Long-term system thinking. Support your management decisions for long-term success. Whole organization needs to work towards a common purpose of the organization. The organization needs to generate value for the customer, society, and the economy. Each employee needs to understand the importance of their role in the organization's growth. All people need to think about bringing the company to the next level. Also, we need to evaluate every function of the organization in terms of its ability to achieve its goal of the organization. Principle 2. Create a continuous flow, just in time. Based on the requirement, redesign the process to create a continuous flow. Continuous flow brings problems to the surface. Eliminate the waiting from the system and process. Create a flow that makes material and information movement fast and also that links processes with the people. By linking processes with people, we can easily identify where are the problems, so we can say that the problems will come to the surface. The right process and information flow need to implement throughout the organization's culture. This way we can create continuous improvement of the process and make people more competent. Principle 3. Use the pull systems to avoid overproduction. The meaning of the pull system is based on the customer demand we need to plan our production activities. As per our production planning, we need to inform our supplier of the material supply. The basic principle of just-in-time is material replenishment is initiated by the consumption. Based on the customer demand, we need to optimize our process and warehouse inventory. Principle 4. Level out the workload. Hijunka. Eliminate waiting. The meaning of the hijunka is leveling or balancing. Hijunka is a famous lean method for reducing the unevenness in the production process. It also minimizes the chance of overburdening production processes. The term hijunka comes from Japanese. It eliminates the waiting time for the operation. In the production process, we need to design our production processes to eliminate the overburden and utilize the maximum capacity of the line. The meaning of eliminating overburden is to eliminate overburden and unevenness from people and equipment. So we can quickly get more output with less effort. Principle 5. To get quality right the first time, standardize the processes. To get quality right the first time, we need to build a culture of stopping production and eliminating the problem. The word quality has too many meanings, but the very famous meaning is right the first time. 
If we observe any defect, then we need to stop the machine and process to identify the root cause for that defect. After successfully implementing the corrective actions, we need to run the line because if we run the line with defective products, then either we need to scrap all the parts or we will receive a customer complaint. Rejection from the customer will reduce our business and spoil our image in the market. We can use all the modern quality assurance methods to identify the root causes. Also, we need to improve the capability of our equipment for good quality and consistent output. One of the best capabilities of equipment is self-detecting the problem and stopping itself. In addition, we can develop a visual system to alert team or project leaders that a machine or process needs assistance. Jadoka is a very famous method for quality improvement. Jadoka means machines with human intelligence. You can also refer to the Top 26 Lean Tools lecture to know more about the Lean Tools. Principle 6. Design, Build, and Quality Standardized Works and Employee Empowerment Design, Build, and Quality is known as Standardized Works and Employee Empowerment. Standardized work is the foundation for continuous improvements and employee empowerment. Also, we can understand the step as Design, Build, and Quality. Refer to the eight dimensions of quality. We need to use stable and repeatable methods in our production system so we can easily predict our process output. Standardized work is the foundation of the flow and pull system. Also, we can implement the 5S methodology for the betterment. Principle 7. Use visual control. We need to implement visual indicators to help people for determining very quickly whether the equipment or processes are running within the range or out of the range. With the help of visual control, the problem will come up to the surface. We can implement straightforward but effective visuals for the production processes. Whenever possible, we need to reduce reports on pieces of paper. Principle 8. Technology to support people and process. Use technology that can support people, not replace people. Toyota focuses on technology that enables stability, reliability, and predictability. Toyota conducts actual tests of new technology before implementing it into products, processes, or systems. We need to encourage our people to consider new technologies and new approaches to improve their skills and growth. We need to implement a tested or proven technology that can improve our process flow. Principle 9. Grow Leaders As per the Toyota way, we need to grow the people and make them good leaders who rigorously understand the work and philosophy and teach it to other teammates. Promote leaders from the organization rather than sourcing them from outside the organization. Leaders must be role models for the organization. All leaders shall have a good understanding of the daily work so they can easily guide and teach other teammates. That helps to achieve the organization's goal. Principle 10. Develop people and teams. We need to develop a strong team that follows the company's philosophy. Organizations need to create a strong culture for their people. Also need to train people to work as per the organization policy that helps to achieve goals. We can use a cross-functional team approach to improve quality and productivity. Organizations need to promote a teamwork culture to work together. Principle 11. Respect your partners and suppliers. Have respect for our suppliers and treat them like a partner in growth. Toyota values all its partners and suppliers and helps them grow. Set advanced targets for your partners and suppliers and help them to achieve the same. Principle 12. Go to Jemba and see for yourself. Genshi Genbatsu. To solve any problems, we need to go to the actual place where the incident happens. In other words, we can say a real location or a real place of problem. In the Japanese language, we can say Jemba. The concept of going to Jemba and seeing yourself is known as Genshi Jembatsu. So based on the actual data, we need to take the appropriate decisions and actions. Principle 13. Decision-making and goals alignment. We need to take decisions solely based on the cross-function team approach. Also, we need to consider all the aspects of the cross-function team. Before the implementation of any solution, we need to discuss the problem and potential solution with the team for a better understanding of the solution. Also, we need to align SMART goals with the team. The SMART stands for systematic, measurable, achievable, realistic, and time-bound. And finally, Principle 14, Continuous Improvements, Kaizen. The PDCA cycle and 5Y analysis are the most famous tool for continuous improvement and root cause analysis in lean manufacturing. 
The Lean and Toyota production system is a never-ending journey of improvements. Continuous improvement is the fundamental pillar of any organization. So, we have discussed the 14 principles of Toyota Way. If this lecture was helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.